All across Tennessee, hospitals have been ordered to postpone elective surgeries to save on critical protective equipment. But inside one facility here in Nashville, employees sounded the alarm about what they saw as a possible violation of that order. They contacted News Channel 5 chief investigative reporter Phil Williams. Phil. They're concerned that their bosses might be violating the governor's order. So we pulled out our hidden cameras and decided to find out for ourselves. Here inside this six story medical building in Nashville's Midtown, the St. Thomas Hospital for Specialty Surgery builds itself as the only hospital in Tennessee dedicated to spinal and joint replacement surgery. Today I signed executive order 18, which prohibits hospitals and outpatient surgery centers from performing elective surgeries. Despite the governor's order, New Shelf Five investigates heard from staff inside the St. Thomas facility concerned that surgeries were continuing. And at 5.30 a.m., more than five hours after the governor's order took effect, we spotted what appeared to be the first patient arriving. At 6.15 a.m., we saw what appeared to be another patient heading inside. An operating room schedule obtained from inside the facility shows seven different orthopedic spinal surgeries throughout the day. But I do think it's a recipe for disaster. I really do think all these elective surgeries need to stop. Dr. Isela Carrillo said the concern is preserving badly needed personal protective equipment or PPEs, as well as protecting patients and staff. I think there's a lot of gray area is still going on, but I do think the surgeries that are elective should stop. I mean, chronic conditions, those people have had this condition many times for years. There's no reason for this to be being pursued right now. In a statement, St. Thomas said, we began curtailing our number of elective surgeries prior to the governor's order. It added, some essential surgeries based on expert medical judgment are continuing and do not meet the definition of elective. In our practice here, we suspended all elective surgeries, and that's true for this hospital at Williamson, where I am currently. More than a week ago, in response to the coronavirus pandemic, health authorities began to urge hospitals to postpone elective surgeries. At the St. Thomas facility, while managers began to work from home, an email to medical staff just this past Friday informed them, at this time, all St. Thomas hospitals are still performing elective cases. But the bottom line is anything that's a chronic disease really shouldn't be being operated on at this point. They're actually really putting that patient in jeopardy as well as the people in the facility, such as the nurses and physicians. Part of the problem is a lack of clarity about exactly what elective means. St. Thomas says it's doing everything it can to comply with the governor's order and it's continuing to review upcoming surgeries to see which ones can be canceled. You can see the full statement at newschannel5.com.